Hello and welcome to this walkthrough using Bifrost and specifically NPM cloth within Bifrost. We're going to be using NPM cloth in a different way today. I've seen lots of examples online from other sort of 3D packages where for a long time you can kind of see these really cool like motion design um, ideas. At face value, you might think it's not possible to do this within Maya, but Bifrost allows us to use dynamic effects and particle effects in an incredible amount of different ways. We just have to kind of tame it and make it work for us. So in this video, we're going to be creating a balloon text using NPM cloth, and we're going to start with looking at the settings within the NPM source, because this is the most important aspect to get right early on so that we can get these really cool kind of motion design looks so yeah follow along and then hopefully you can kind of work this into your own working pipeline and create something really cool let's get to it right so we're going to be creating these uh, amazing balloons using npm cloth and as we know npm cloth and the npm suite is awesome for creating all kinds of effects from snow to sand to cloth to water fluids to gel to rubber it's it's amazing but we can actually kind of tailor a lot of these things to work for us in different ways more sort of design function led ways and i've been seeing a lot of examples going around from different bits of software where they create some really cool stuff and often wondered if we could ever get something like that in maya but really with bifrost now we can kind of adapt some of the awesome stuff that's in the npm suite and in other areas to make these effects so it just takes a bit of time and a bit of thinking and some settings to get what we want so let's just go ahead what i've got here is some text this text as we can see just says bifrost the text has just had the normals reverse so you know each bit of text just goes Mesh display, reverse normals, and that just means that the collisions that we want for the interior are going to work correctly. If they're on the outside, then you know anything on the inside wouldn't collide with the inside. So for now, I'm just going to keep this on a display layer, and we can see that in the outliner, I've named all of these you know individual letters so that we know what to do with them. I've also got a ball here, which was just a cube that's been smoothed a few times. I just prefer to use those in simulations when I want something kind of spherical, just because there's no kind of pinching at the top if you if you use a cube and just smooth it quite a few times. So let's get on with it on the graph. It can get quite involved with the settings here. So what I've done is actually saved the settings off and I'll show you how this is like a really neat way of uh, working, but let's just get going. So first of all, we could consider bringing in all of our text as one object just by selecting all of it in the outliner and just bringing it down here and i think i'll just create a collider for that because that's we're going to use a collider in our um, setup anyway so i'm just going to plug those into the collider i'm going to make that collider rather than relative i'm going to make that absolute um, I'm going to take off the friction and the bounciness because within this collider I want things to be able to move around and stuff so let's just move the outliner out of the way so now we're going to get npm cloth in so I'm just going to start typing cloth and we'll go to cloth npm setup I'm going to right click that and explode and then we get our various settings just for npm so we've got our solve out and our simulate npm here and straight away we can plug in our collider. Cool. Right, so next up we wanna start creating a source. We've got our NPM cloth source here, okay? But to speed up this walkthrough a little bit, I'm gonna show you something kinda of cool which I think you can all do. And it's kinda of like saving a preset really. All of these attributes within this NPM cloth have to be adapted to work in the way that I've got it working. And there's some real sort of fine tuned settings that I've found that you need to make it do what it does. So rather than me go through and try and remember every single time that I do this, you know, how to get the settings just, just right, I just save off a version of this NPM cloth. 
so let's say you've got all of your settings you know in a different way and you know you're 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 happy with the result then you could just rename this uh, I don't know something like my my make npm cloth or whatever you want to call it you know it, it may um, refer to some kind of experiment you've created that does a certain thing I don't know anyway just rename it and then you can just right click on it and we can publish that um, so we could publish my make npm cloth and click publish and then the next time you want to do this you can just you know we can get rid of this and I'll, I'll just going to bring in my balloon version so I'm going to bring in my my balloon make npm cloth okay and all of the settings are here that I created to make this balloon work so let me just expand this window and pull out this parameters tab now with my balloon make npm cloth selected you can see all of my settings here um, so you could either pause the uh, walkthrough or you can um, you know just 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 take a screenshot whatever but these are the settings that you're going to need okay so we've got a very low mass viscosity at one area preservation is super low vibration speed is super low as is collision max speed and the thickness we've just got a tiny bit on there tiny bit on friction no speed we're gonna cover that with a field and rest length scale is really high you're gonna have to input that number yourself rather than using the slider and then this target volume ratio don't worry about that in a moment because we are going to be inputting that into an input and animating that within mile volume stiffness around about one now all of this important to note is based on scale the scale of your scene and as we can see from this the, the, the word bifrost that i've got going on here pretty much just takes up the the grid okay i've just offset it i don't actually know why i've offset it i think it's because i started building the letter here and then carrying on but whatever it doesn't matter but yeah so those settings will work for that scale